uh, but talking about it, how do you think that mindfulness uh, can help us, uh, you know, as an individual or as an organization? Uh, in what ways do you think it can uh, add value to our lives? One thing I think everybody agrees on is that uh, the quality of one's life has everything to do with the response to the situations in front of us. We can't control all the circumstances. No one would have predicted that we would have this pandemic that would take control of our lives in 2020. No one would have guessed that, you know? Maybe some scientists that were like, you know, studying this said it's something's coming, but the majority of us didn't expect it. And what you can, if you just look at this factually, right, objectively, those who, there were people who responded well and people who didn't respond so well. There were people who saw opportunity and there were people who didn't. There were people who let it eat them up with stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. And those who were able to stay still and find peace in the storm and then take effective action. So what mindfulness does is it helps us to get to that place where we can respond rather than react. I like to think of the, uh, the gift that mindfulness gives us uh, is a faculty I describe as space. So there's a very a famous quote by Viktor Frankl, between stimulus and response, there is a space. And in that space, we have the power to choose our response. And our, in our response lies our growth and our freedom. And so I think what mindfulness does is it increases that space. And therefore, we can make informed decisions the decisions that will best serve us, and we can respond effectively even when situations are chaotic and there are perceived threats and there is a great deal of uncertainty. And that helps us in organizations as well as professionals who are trying to get the most results in a world where it is very, very unpredictable. That's true. I mean, I completely agree. I mean, we live in such a chaotic world where we cannot control anything, right? Every anything, like everything we can do is just control our response, our reactions. And I think, uh, you know, our efforts are always directed towards uh, trying to control the outside world or trying to control the people around us and, you know, how they should react or how they should treat us or respond to us. And I think that's something which uh, kind of leads to a lot of grief and, uh, you know, dissatisfaction because that's not in our hands, right? What lies in our hands is just us, our responses. So I think mindfulness, if practiced, can really help us a lot to strike that balance. Agreed, agreed. I, I think you des described it really well. The problem is that we attempt to control things that we can't control, and that creates resistance. And if you really break this down, and this is, my mind is very practical, uh, very logical, in that I believe there are only three things that we have some control over. And those three things are our attention, our thoughts, and our actions. And, yeah. you know, it, oftentimes these are in response to things. But if you think of it like this, th these are the only three levers I can pull in my life right? It actually That's is quite true. freeing because you, you let go of all the other things that you think you, you had control over. And you realize if I only have these con control over these three things, then I should focus my attention on those three things. Where is my attention? What are my thoughts here? How am I responding to this? And what are the actions that I can take given what I know about this situation? I completely agree. And Often we don't try to control things which are in our control. We always try to go out of the way and whine over things which we can't change, right? So that's that's always the kind of inner battle that we face. But I really agree with these three amazing points that you just said that what we can control. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's uh it's it's interesting how the human tendency is to try and to focus on the things we can't control and then it creates our own suffering. Uh, it's a natural program that all of us have running within us. So it takes some diligence and it takes some intention to uh, reframe or rewire the mind to keep its attention on the things that we do have control over. 